Alright guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a sliding door. Now, I'll preface this by saying, getting this to work properly can be a real motherfucker. But, <laughs> I'm going to show you what I did. Um, because as you can see over here, what you got to do is you need to make the actual physical space where your doors are going to be. Because when you use poly objects, it's not like a direct action like normal Doom 2 functions. So, you can see here, you know, I've just got some, some basic fucking... Uh, texturing going on. I'm going to switch these because it looks better. But, um... So I've created the doors themselves. Okay? And they just need to exist somewhere outside of the map area. Okay, and then you can see over here I've got two separate sectors that are the same size as my doors. Which is also necessary. So, I've got those here. Um now we need to put some things in so this is an anchor point which means you know it's gonna this the left side poly object is gonna anchor the door here so it closes this one's gonna anchor it there um, and then this is our poly object start spot and I just set my grid to 8 I believe yeah and just made sure I put a dead center in there because I didn't want to have any fuck ups alright and then this is our poly object start line. It's action number one. And I assign this poly object number one and it mirrors poly object number two. And this one is poly object number two that mirrors poly object number one. So it's not difficult to do. Or at least that's not hard to set up. And then comes the actual switch which activates it. Um, they have the same same fucking set up as each other and you're really just controlling poly object number one but it just the second one mirrors it um, you can change your movement speed I'm going to set it to 16 for effect um, then you've got your movement angle um, angles in doom are fucking weird uh, there's a table for them somewhere and I'm going to try and put the link into the info so you can have some help with it because if you wanted to have your doors move vertically it would be a totally different story but for left to right, just like this, the movement angle is 128, and the length, of course, is going to be 128 because that's the length of our sector. Sector. And then, you <laughs> sector. And then you're going to set the delay to however long you want. Uh, I keep it at 100, just to make it nice and dramatic. But uh, I'm just going to save it and test it real quick. see, it looks pretty fucking sweet. And yeah, so you can make sweet sliding doors and shit now too, so. I mean, it's, I'm telling you, sometimes pissing with this trying to get it to work is fucking ridiculous which is why I made this map beforehand but god damn <laughs> so just you know when you're going through make sure you've got your anchor points in the right spots make sure you've got your start spots in the right spots and make sure that you've got your start lines where your doors are gonna meet and make sure they complement each other with uh, their poly number and their mirror number like this one is one mirrors two and this was two mirrors one so you gotta make sure they complement each other and the switch just try and make you make sure your doors are gonna be horizontal so you can keep your movement angle on 28 and then set uh, the length to whatever the length of your door is so you could have a 64 split door uh, sliding door like that and just you know, remember, you gotta make the doors actually out of uh, playable space. See, because see how these lines aren't gray? You gotta make them bitches impassable, too. So, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's really all there is to it. If you need help, just watch it again. I apologize if I went a little fast, but I'm not a fan of this. I mean, I am just of how it looks and everything, but setting it up has given me headaches sometimes, but that's what I'm trying to prevent for you guys, so uh, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to shoot me a message or 
request, a tutorial, anything. So uh, I'll see you guys next time.